amazing, amazing. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever place you're watching us and at what time you're watching us. This is the Beholders Church and which is brought to you by Wema TV and we are the ones who are bringing it. Today we have me, Bonnie Glorious. I have my brother on my right hand side. I have my brother on the left hand side, but that one, they, they'll pick it at the introduction section. But you're so much welcome as we take it in from where we left last time. <clears throat> we had a wonderful talk on Jesus Christ being the center of the scriptures or Jesus Christ who is the focus of all scriptures. The whole Bible talks about Jesus Christ. And when you look at the book of Genesis, you will see Jesus Christ. When you go to Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, in the Psalms, even when you go to the book of Malachi and the other prophets, both major and minor, <laughs> yeah, both major and minor, you will find Christ there. But in those places, you will not see his name, but you will see him in characters. And that is what we began to look at last week. And this week, we are going to check at it more deeper or more detailed because of Christ. But before we begin, allow me to begin with a word of prayer in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, we are grateful. We are so happy because of your love for us. We are so happy because you have given Christ for us. Thank you, Father, for the for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. Our eyes are enlightened. The eyes of our viewers are enlightened. And from wherever they are viewing us from, there is no limitation in distance. But all of them, they are covering, they are seeing what we see in Christ Jesus, even along this session. What you are going to show us, it's going to be revealed to all of us in the name of Jesus. We are grateful. Thank you, Father, as we begin. And all is well because we have you and we have the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we give thanks in prayer. Amen. 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 So it's a great blessing. And yeah, from, from where we, we, we left it, and remember we, we left it at where we were saying that Jesus Christ is the one who came and he perfected all that God was talking about in all the scriptures. And we say, we asked a question, did God really do that? And today we are going to cover up the whole part of it, but also with references from the Old Testament. And so uh, I have my brother Ian Commander Royalty, and I, I'm going to invite him as he shares his word, uh, his name, and also what he has to do from what we talked from last week. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning and good afternoon and good evening from everywhere you're watching us from. We are live, the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> we are the Christ Beholders. And as my brother said, this is Beholders Church. Christ Beholders, we bring you this show each and every Friday from 8 p.m. here at Wema TV. We are glad to be here. Uh, last time we had a very wonderful conversation about Christ being the focus yeah. of the whole Bible. Mm. And uh, some of the things we say, one of them was Christ is the message of the Bible. Mm -hmm. We don't go into the Bible looking for things. Yeah. We go into the Bible looking for Him. Yeah. When mm -hmm. you find things and miss Him, you've missed everything. Mm -hmm. And we gave examples of that. Yeah. Now, uh, today I want us to go, you, you talked about uh, perfection, yeah? Mm -hmm. I want us to go deeper to look at Christ because Christ is the perfection. Okay. Now, <clears throat> And uh, maybe before that, yes, sir. allow me to invite my other personality here, okay. <laughs> my other brother here, and then we will pick it up from you yes, after he finishes his introduction. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Hello. My name is Freddie Blessing. And say, I'm so blessed. That's why my name is Blessing. Oh. <laughs> the Lord. Everything, everything about me is blessed. Yeah. You know, you can't interact with me and remain cast. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. the Blessing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. That is so good. And follow Kinley, and I know you're having a pen and a notebook. Yes, please. <laughs> Let's take it up from you, sir. Okay, good. So, uh, today allow me to start with saying this, yeah? Mm -hmm. Christ is the deepest revelation of the Bible. Yeah. Any revelation that you will find in the Bible minus Christ yeah. is not a revelation. Yeah. This has come. <laughs> Any revelation you find in the Bible mm -hmm. that does not point you to Christ yeah. or does not come from Christ yeah. is actually error. Because the Bible has one and one one alone. Yeah. The Bible was to point those who are not in Christ yeah. into him, yeah. was to bring them to him. Mm -hmm. And for those who are 
in Christ already yeah. to stay focused on him. Mm-hmm. David says that I've seen the end of all perfection, yeah. but your word mm-hmm. grows exceedingly broad. Yeah. Those who are in Christ, mm-hmm. you cannot exhaust him. You yeah. cannot exhaust Christ. Yeah. And then uh, the the reason we the reason our focus is Christ. Yeah. Uh, jo, uh, our First Corinthians yeah. chapter first first second Corinthians chapter two verse uh, chapter three verse eighteen. Yeah. The verse that we as Christ beholders. The verse that leads us mm-hmm. gives us the importance of us focusing on Christ, yeah. uh, because the Bible says that as we behold Him, mm-hmm. that is why we got our name as Christ beholders. Mm-hmm. As we behold Him, yeah. we are transformed yeah. into the same image that we are looking at, mm-hmm. from one glory mm-hmm. to another. Yeah. So the essence of the Scriptures, mm-hmm. the essence of the Word of God, yeah. is to point those who are outside Christ to Christ, yeah. and for us who are already in Christ, yeah. to stay in Christ. Mm-hmm. So even when you are in Christ, the revelations that we are looking for, mm-hmm. or the, the revelations that we deduce from the scriptures, mm. they should not be outside Christ. Yeah. Because many of the times you, you listen to people and you hear their, what, whatever they call revelation, mm. it's outside Christ. Yeah. And when, whenever revelation is outside Christ, it will always lead people to error. Oh, okay. Because Christ mm. is the main message mm. of the Bible. Wow. Not things, yeah. not, not, not principles and what. Mm. Even though we know that our God is a God of principle and pattern. Yeah. Yeah. But he, that is not the main focus. Yeah. The main focus is Christ. Mm. If you learn these principles mm. and you fail to learn Christ, yeah. you will not enjoy the fullness that is in God. Mm. Yes, sir. Wow, amazing. <clears throat> amazing. I'm loving the place of Christ is the central point yes. in the scriptures. Yes, he is the central message of the Bible yes. from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Mm. If you put a, a string, there's something I said last week, yes. if you put a string yes. dividing what is common in all those places, yes, when sir. you go to Nahum, Obadiah, yes, even all the ayahs there, Major and Minor, <laughs> <laughs> all of them, yes. they, have a, they, have a, they have a message that is similar, that is common with them, mm. and that is the message of Christ yes, Jesus. Mm. And by, by, the good, by the love of Christ, yes, today sir. we are going to check a we are going to pick them yes. from in between there. Yes, sir. In all those, by you know, in in most of those places, mm. because maybe you cannot expose them all. Yes, but, sir. What do you have to say about that? Uh, just as we said last time, uh-huh. that uh, the Old Testament yeah. it is Christ concealed. Yeah. The New Testament mm. it is Christ revealed. Yeah. So the whole Bible mm. talks about Christ. Yeah. The Bible doesn't uh-huh. have messages. Yeah. It has one message. Uh-huh. Wow. The Bible doesn't have stories. Yeah. It has one story. Wow. Yes. The Bible mm. is a Christocentric book wow. that carries the Christos message. Mm. So when you study the word, yeah. the only thing that you can find mm. is Christ. Yeah. So today, <laughs> I'm 100% sure yeah. <laughs> from Genesis to Revelation, ah, yes. you're going to find Christ, even in the book of Song of Solomon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is a very good example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fact, yes. I'm going to check at it. Don't leave. <laughs> don't, don't change the, <laughs> the station. Uh, but right about now, uh, allow me to, to mention a verse that we began with last time. Mm. And that was in the book of John chapter 5. Yes. Let me read from verse 38. I'm using the King James Version where he says, And you have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent, him you believe not. Praise the Lord. Mm. So now Jesus, Jesus is addressing people who are questioning him from coming. Uh, They they are questioning whether Jesus came from God. And because the the Hebrews had a certain thing they were following Mm. in the Bible, Mm. they were expecting a certain Messiah. Yes, when they read the book of Isaiah, mm. they will see a guy who will come. He will come <laughs> with a glory and he will come with... He, they were looking at, at something that was physical yes, or, on his glory. But mm. now Jesus comes and now they did not recognize him because the fancy they were looking at. In mm. fact, even today, there are many, many people in Israel who are still waiting for the coming, the first coming of our Lord. Yes, we are waiting for the second coming, (laughs) but there are some people who are waiting for his first coming because they don't have a revelation of his first coming. And so, even if most, okay, that reminds me of something. (laughs) (laughs) There are believers who are waiting for the second coming of Christ, like they are waiting for it in fear. Yeah. Yeah. They don't understand that the first coming sorted even our fears. Now, the second coming is a good coming because you're expecting him to come and bring salvation for we who are born again. Yes. So you should not fear when you hear that Jesus yeah. is coming. Mm. And as a minister, when I say Jesus is coming, <laughs> you should not be in terror, you should not tremble, yes, but you should rejoice because sure. the second coming of Christ is because of what
what he fulfilled in his first coming. So the second coming is just taking what he already purchased in his first coming, and that is you, the believer. Mm -hmm. So now the expectation of the Pharisees and the Sadducees was somehow in, a, in another expectation. Yeah. They were waiting for a Messiah who was physically, he was somebody who was so wealthy, who will physically redeem them from, from, the, from the bondage or from the hands of those people who had colonized them at that time, the yes, Roman government. Sure. But now, when Jesus comes, they were, they were, because of what they expected, they misinterpreted him. Yes. So now Jesus is answering them, because he, now he's saying, uh, and you have not his word abiding in you. That means you don't have the revelation of the scriptures mm -hmm. abiding in you. Because if you had that, him that came, him that was sent by the Father, you will believe him. Yeah, then now he so. says, you search the scriptures, for in them you think that you have eternal life, mm. and they are they which testify. They are a testimony. <laughs> wow. They testify of me, mm. Jesus Christ. And you will not come to me that you may have life. Yes. There is the Lord. Amen. So now Christ is saying, when you go to search the scriptures, when you go to study the scriptures, or what, when you read Isaiah, mm. I'm using Isaiah because it's a good example. When you read the Psalms, when you read the Proverbs, you must come to the place of understanding that they were testifying about Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you must see Jesus even in those Proverbs. Okay? Yes. So now, when we search the scriptures, they are they that talk to us about Jesus Christ. And from last time, we, we communicated along that and we established that Genesis is the book of beginnings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then from Exodus all the way to Malachi, yes. it is when he established the second, the first the testament first or the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And then from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm -hmm. that is the historic, the history of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. Maybe if you did not watch last week, you can go back at our YouTube page Oh, sorry, our channel, Wema TV, and then you'll find it there. Mm. It's Christ, the focus of the Bible, one. Yes. And then from there now, you will be able to get what we are saying. So now, in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it is the history of Jesus Christ coming <coughs> to the flesh. Mm. But now, in the book of Acts, or the end of the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, mm. the death of Jesus is what separated the Old mm. and the New Testament. Yes. And we read, when he gave them the, the, the Lord's table, he said, this is the blood of my body, mm. which is shed for the remission of many. And this is the blood of, my, of the New Testament. Yeah. So the New Testament was established <coughs> in the end of those chapters. Yes. So the, new, the cross is the dividing line of the Old and, and the, the New Testament. Testament. So now all the rest, they are now speaking to the finished works of Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. And now, even those who taught after that, they were all going back to check out the scriptures. And all places, mm -hmm. you see, like Peter says, uh, mm -hmm. by his stripes, you were healed. Mm -hmm. yes. That was a, a deliverance that was taken from yes. the book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. who prophesied the coming of Christ, sure. the crucifixion, mm -hmm. which established our healing yes. and our peace and even our forgiveness of sins. So yes. now they will talk from that point. So now I want to throw the ball to you. Yes, sir. And I want to throw the ball to you. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what exactly do you mean that when you study the scriptures? And I, I, can, I, can, I can pick it up from the book of Matthew chapter 4 and maybe see an example there. Mm. Matthew chapter 4. Are you with us? I am using the new the King James. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the King James. Okay, because we are dividing the Old and the New Testament, allow me to use the King James. So he says, 413 of Matthew, the Bible says that this is after Jesus was born and now he's beginning his ministry. Mm -hmm. He says, And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast in the borders of Zabulon and Nephtalim. He says that it might be fulfilled, wow. which was spoken wow. by Isaiah the prophet, wow. saying, mm -hmm. now in Christ Jesus yes. is fulfilled what Isaiah mm -hmm. spoke or what Isaiah said. He says the land of Zabulon, yes. the land of Nephtalim, by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. He says the people that sat in darkness saw a great light and to them which sat in the region of the shadow of death, light is sprang up. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. So now that is showing us that now Isaiah saying mm. has been fulfilled at the coming yeah. of Christ yes. Jesus. So now from the Old Testament, maybe you can give us a flow from there. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much. Pleasure. There is something uh, I want to address first yeah. before we go into the Old Testament. Oh, okay. 
the Hebrew, yeah. the the Jews, the people we are calling the Jews, yeah. uh, most of them, we say that we know that most of them today don't believe that Christ came. Yeah. But there are some of them who got that revelation. Yeah. Actually, there is this one man who, who actually I'm very surprised of. Mm. I had never seen this before. Mm. There's this one man called Philip. Philip, <laughs> in John chapter 1, verse 40, from verse 43, yeah. we read up to up to 45. Yeah. So the Bible says, mm-hmm. the next day Jesus desired, I'm, I'm using the Amplified, oh, okay, okay. the next day Jesus desired and decided to go into Galilee, yeah. and he found Philip mm-hmm. and said to him, mm-hmm. join me as my attendant or disciple uh-huh. and follow me. Yeah. Now Philip was from Bethsaida yeah. of the same city as Andrew mm-hmm. and Peter. Mm-hmm. What did Philip do? Yeah. Philip, after being called by Christ, yeah. the Bible says, Philip sought and found Nathaniel uh-huh. and told him, mm-hmm. we have found him, wow. or we have discovered him, mm-hmm. the one Moses uh-huh. in the law, mm-hmm. <laughs> and also the prophets yeah. wrote about sure. Jesus mm-hmm. from Nazareth, yeah. the Amplified says, the legal uh-huh. son of Joseph. Wow. Wow. And, Nazareth, and, and Nathaniel answered him, mm-hmm. Nazareth? Yeah. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Philip replied, ah, "Come and see." Wow. So we, here we see a man <laughs> in the in the in the old covenant yeah. also yeah. who caught the revelation mm-hmm. of Christ. Yeah. So this is to show us some Jews, yeah. some Hebrews. Yeah. They actually understood mm-hmm. some of them, yeah. not many of them. Yeah. Some of them actually caught the understanding yeah. that Moses mm-hmm. and the prophets yeah. were actually talking about one man. Wow. The man Jesus Christ. Yeah. And now we go to the book of Hebrews, yeah. which we believe the, the writer is is the man called Paul. Mm-hmm. Because the when when you look at Hebrews, it looks like it has the handwriting of our, <laughs> our beloved Paul. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, the handwriting Sir, of what our... do you mean? The Bible does not have handwriting. What I mean by handwriting is <laughs> when you look at how Paul writes his letters, uh-huh. and then you look at the letter Hebrew, the letter to the Hebrews. Yeah. This, the same language, yeah. the same metaphors, oh, the same explanation, okay. you can tell this is Paul. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the first chapter, the uh, first verse, yeah. now, because we know many Hebrews and just don't, and we, which is actually a problem in most people in the church, many yeah. people do not know that the Bible speaks of one person. Yeah. He starts by telling them, yeah. in many separate revelations, Hebrews oh. chapter 1, verse 1, uh-huh. in many separate revelations, yeah. so, we remember when we were starting, we said, the Bible has only one revelation, yeah. the revelation of Christ. Christ. Now, Hebrews says, in many separate revelations, mm-hmm. using the Amplified, yeah. each of which set forth a portion of the truth. Mm-hmm. Each of which set forth a portion of truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, the revelations that we are going today to look at mm-hmm. in the Old Testament, yeah. the Bible tells us uh, that these were portions yeah. of truth. Yeah. They were not the full truth, mm-hmm. yeah. but they were portions yeah. of truth yeah. that God set forth using our fa- using the for- to, to the forefathers using the prophets yeah. and the law. Yeah. So the law set forth portions of truth, <laughs> and in different ways, yeah. God spoke of old mm-hmm. to our forefathers mm-hmm. in and by the prophets. Yeah. But the Bible says, but in these last days, he has spoken to us in the person of a son, yeah. who he has appointed heir yeah. and lawful honor of all things, mm-hmm. and also by and also and by through whom he created the worlds mm-hmm. and the riches of space yeah. and the ages of time. Yeah. He made, produced, mm-hmm. built, operated, mm-hmm. and arranged them in order. Yeah. So he's saying, uh-huh. now he has spoken us wow. by the person of a son. So in the Old Covenant, mm-hmm. these were separate yeah. mm-hmm. portions yeah. of revelations. Uh-huh. When you go to Genesis, yeah. you will see a portion, yeah. not the full truth, yeah. a portion mm-hmm. of a revelation mm-hmm. pointing you to Christ. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to Exodus yeah. and the law, the books of the law of yeah. Moses, yeah. you will see portions mm-hmm. of revelations mm-hmm. pointing you to Christ, yeah. mm-hmm. not the fullness. Yeah. When you go to the prophets, mm-hmm. Like in Isaiah, yeah. and all the ayahs, as you have called them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, uh, you see in them portions uh-huh. of truth yeah. pointing to the man Christ. Yeah. These are portions of revelations. Mm. But you see, this is, the, this, this is what we want the, the viewer to get. Mm. Even these portions yeah. of revelations, yeah. they are pointing to one person. Yeah. They are pointing to 
Christ. Yeah. Not to not they were not giving stories mm. pointing men to pointing us to Jacob, yeah. Joseph, yeah. Isaiah. No, 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 no. Jeremiah's. <laughs> Jeremiah's no. They were pointing to one man, mm. Christ Jesus. Yeah. And now the Bible says, when Christ comes, he says, I am the way, wow. the truth, yeah. the yeah. full yeah. truth. Yeah. So these were portions of truth, <laughs> but now when Christ comes, yeah. he is the fullness yeah. of truth. Yeah. John, in the same book of John chapter 1, yeah. he says, he says the, the law, uh, he says, I am, I am the way. Yeah. I am, he, says, he says, no, he says in John chapter 1 verse 16, yeah. he says, of his fullness, yeah. of the fullness yeah. of the Father, yeah. have we received wow. and grace <laughs> for grace. We have received the fullness of God uh-huh. in a person. Wow. Jesus Christ, Christ. Yeah. Yeah. who was being revealed in separate portions mm-hmm. of revelations. Wow. The Lord. Lord. Yes, wow. sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. I love I love that Hebrews one uh-huh. talking about portions. Yeah. Like in real sense, uh, by the way, yeah. the Bible talks, uh, the Old Testament is about mm. portions. <laughs> when you follow carefully, yeah. the climax of the portions yeah. is the epistles. Yeah. That's the climax of yeah. Revelation. Uh-huh. When, so, uh, sir, before you proceed, what mm. do you mean by epistles? The, the, the New Testament. Okay. Yeah, the writings of Paul and all the apostles. Oh, that means from the book of Acts? From Revelation. the book of Acts. Oh. <laughs> to okay. The book of Revelation. Uh-huh. Now, when you look at the book of Romans 1, uh-huh. Paul reveals to us how and why mm-hmm. are the scriptures important? Yeah. Paul says, yeah. Paul, a born servant of Jesus Christ, oh, okay. called to be an apostle, mm-hmm. separated to the gospel of God, yeah. mm-hmm. separated to call the gospel of God, mm-hmm. Romans 1 verse 2, yeah. which he promised yeah. before through his prophets wow. in the Holy Scriptures. Wow. So the mm-hmm. scriptures yeah. are talking about Jesus Christ. Wow. Just as he's saying mm-hmm. that that this these were the promise, yeah. mm. the promise that was spoken by the prophets. My wow. God. Now, when you look at the prophets, mm. the prophets began in the book of Exodus. Mm. That's when the ministry of yeah. prophets yeah. was was now began. Let's yes, say sir. began. Yeah. Now all the prophets mm-hmm. they had portions mm. of revelations about yeah. Christ. Yeah. They had shadows uh-huh. of the revelations of Christ. Yeah. That's why the book of Hebrews ten mm. the Bible says that. Uh, the law was the shadow yeah. of good things yeah. to come. Uh-huh. So everything that these guys did, mm-hmm. it was a shadow yeah. of good things to come. Yeah. So the scriptures, mm-hmm. they can only reveal Christ. Wow. They were given mm-hmm. for us to know Christ. Yeah. Let me read again the, the second verse, yeah. which the, he promised yeah. before through his prophets uh-huh. in the Holy Scriptures, yeah. verse 3, yeah. concerning his son, Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. So the scriptures uh-huh. are talking about Jesus Christ, yeah. the son of God. Wow. All scriptures. Wow. This is a revelation that Paul got it. I think he went through the Old Testament yeah. for him to get, to get the revelation. <laughs> yes, yeah. Because again, for you to understand Christ, yeah. you must begin from the book of Genesis yeah. for you to understand. Yeah. So Paul got it from Genesis mm-hmm. to the book of Malachi. Yeah. Then he again uh-huh. tried to understand what was Christ doing when Christ came yeah. in the historical. Uh-huh. So Jesus Christ came. Mm-hmm to fulfill yeah. what the, the prophets yeah. had prophesied. Okay. In the book of Matthew 19, mm. verse 3, mm-hmm. they sounding good about the, the Pharisees. Mm. The Pharisees, you know, they used to question Jesus Christ, yeah. not because they wanted to learn. Yeah. I think those guys were just stupid, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they wanted to question him uh-huh. because they wanted, uh, they wanted to, to show him, like, to tempt him. Yeah. That was the main thing. Yeah. yeah. I will continue from that. Yes, sir. Sir, there's something you've said, mm-hmm. and I, I love the clarity of those scriptures. So that means Paul is saying he's a servant of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. separated to the gospel of God. Yes. And now that gospel he promised in the scriptures and in the prophets, mm-hmm. wow. and that is concerning Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. our Lord. Yes. So now in the Old Testament or in the scriptures, he promised. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, I don't know if them that are following, <laughs> I know, I know you are getting yes, what, what is coming out so clearly. Yes. So. You mean, even if there is no mention of the word Jesus Christ yes. in the Old Testament mm. or in the books of Genesis, all those, all of those books, even if there is no mention of Jesus Christ, but there is something in common, they were pointing to Christ Jesus yes. himself. Yeah. And so yeah. then, you've quoted Hebrews 10, you've said that they were a shadow of the things. good things to come. Mm. And now Paul is saying, now... I am I am separated for the gospel of yeah, Jesus yes. Christ, and now it has been fulfilled in our hearing. Yes. Now, we, I, 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 okay, just a 
time is not allowing us to continue <laughs> again without a break. But immediately after the break, we are going to take it a little bit higher because of Christ. It's so it's amazing. This is the Beholders chat. Continue following. You are blessed. Warfare is not fighting things that are there in the air. Warfare is pulling down strongholds in your mind, casting down arguments, like now God tells you you are righteous, but I can see those arguments in your mind telling you, but you don't act righteous. That is warfare. Wow. Glory, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> Welcome back again. Uh, we, are, we, we are so... We are continuing on well and I'm loving it. I believe you're also loving it and you're so much welcomed and it's well. We encourage you to continue writing for us in the live chat. It's a blessing as we see it from you. And so, again, this is the Beholders chat and I'm with my fellow ministers and sons of God. I, Bonnie Glorious, on my left, I have Ian, Commander Royalty, and on my right hand, I have Freddie Sky Blessing, and it is so great blessing to be here and sharing or having a conversation around the Word of God. And so, the, the last, before we went for a break, I was having, we were having Minister Freddie talking to us. Can I kindly bring back the role to you? Yes, yes. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, as I was saying, Paul drove revelations from the Old Testament. Yeah. And again, when you look at the Bible, yeah. you realize that the Old Testament mm. begins the book of Exodus, yeah. not the book of Genesis. Yeah. Because in the book of Matthew 19, yeah. the Pharisees came to Jesus yeah. and they began to, <laughs> to question him. Yeah. Just as you have said, uh -huh. that they were not questioning him to, to learn. Yeah. No, they were just tempting him. Yeah. I think they were the, <laughs> the people who could tempt Jesus. Their mission was tempting him. Wow. They, they, they couldn't see him as if... He could benefit yeah, them. Yeah. But now mm -hmm. they came, they began to tempt him. Yeah. And they asked him, uh -huh. Master, is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? Yeah. Is it lawful? Uh -huh. And now I love how Jesus answered yeah. in Matthew 19 from verse 4. Yeah. Jesus said, mm -hmm. and he answered and said to yeah. them, yeah. Have you not read that, the, that he who made them at the beginning mm -hmm. made them male and the female? Yeah. That was the first answer Jesus yeah. gave them. Yeah. Have you, haven't you read that God made the male mm. and the female? Uh -huh. The next verse says, uh -huh. and said, mm. for this reason, a yeah. man shall leave his father mm. and mother yeah. and be joined to his wife, mm -hmm. and the two shall become one flesh. Yeah. Verse 6, mm -hmm. so then mm -hmm. they are no longer two, two mm -hmm. but one flesh. Yeah. Therefore, mm -hmm. what God has joined together, mm -hmm. let no man separate yeah. or bring asunder. Uh -huh. Verse 19, mm -hmm. they said to him, yeah. now, you see, they are just coming with questions. Yeah. They said to him, mm -hmm. Moses, uh -huh. because, sorry, they said to him, mm -hmm. why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of divorce yeah. and put her away? <laughs> that was the question. Uh -huh. Jesus answered and said, uh -huh. he said to them, mm -hmm. Moses, mm -hmm. because of the hardness of your heart. Yeah. Notice, yeah. he begins with the word Moses, yeah. Because of the hardness of your heart, yeah. permitted you mm. to divorce your wives. Yeah. But from the beginning, yeah. it was not so. Yeah. This is where we realize. So mm -hmm. Moses, the ministry of Moses began in Exodus. Mm -hmm. So that is the ministry of yeah. Moses. Yeah. Wow. Genesis uh -huh. is the beginning. Yeah. So what Jesus told them from mm -hmm. the beginning of time, yeah. it was not so, yeah. which is Genesis. Uh -huh. Now, when we are talking about the scriptures, yeah. you realize that yeah. everything that was written yeah. by Moses was uh -huh. a shadow. Yeah. Concerning Christ. Mm -hmm. Again, when you look at the Bible, yeah. Moses was born in uh, Exodus, not yeah. in Genesis. Very true. So everything that Moses said, mm -hmm. and even the beginning, the book of Genesis, yeah. everything that the, the, our fathers did, mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, Je Jacob, and Noah, yeah. everything that they did, yeah. they, they had shadows yeah. of Christ. Uh -huh. That's why he said last time yeah. that the Old Testament begins in, in Exodus yeah. to, to the book of Malachi. Yeah. The, the the beginning is yeah. Genesis. Yeah. So the the scriptures mm. were just written yeah. for our learning. Yeah. Can you remember what we read in the book of Second Second Timothy, mm -hmm. verse three, yeah. mm -hmm. verse fifteen? Yeah. There's something that Paul was telling Timothy, yeah. and he began to tell him, mm -hmm. and, and, and that from a child yeah. you have learned the holy scriptures. Mm -hmm. From a child, yeah. you have learned the Holy Scriptures, yeah. which are able yeah. to make you 
wise wise wow wise to what mm-hmm. and to salvation yeah. mm-hmm. so everything wow. that was written wow. from from the book of genesis yeah. the beginning wow. exodus the historical yeah. it was written yeah. for our learning yeah. and to give to make us wise yeah. and to and salvation, salvation. Wow. salvation is mm-hmm. not being born again yeah. mm-hmm. salvation ah. is a is a name that carries with it many meanings yeah. it has deliverance ah. it has healing yes. <clears throat> So it has healing, yeah. it has rescue. Yeah. That's that's the name salvation. Uh-huh. So the scriptures mm-hmm. were written yeah. for our learning mm-hmm. and making us wise. Mm-hmm. The next mm-hmm. verse says, mm-hmm. and that sorry, verse 16, all scriptures mm-hmm. is given by the inspiration of God, mm-hmm. is profitable. Yeah. Number one, for yeah. doctrine. Yeah. Doctrine mm-hmm. is the Greek word the descalia, mm-hmm. which means teaching. Yeah. So the scriptures yeah. were given uh-huh. for our teaching. teaching. Wow. Yeah. The next verse is reproof. Mm-hmm. For reproof, reproof is the Greek word elog- elogos, uh-huh. which means evidence. Mm-hmm. So the scriptures mm-hmm. are there to give us evidence. Mm-hmm. So the moment you are taught, yeah. it will give you evidence. Yeah. That's how the Holy Spirit works. Mm-hmm. He will teach you, then give you evidence. Yeah. Now that's wow. why the scriptures were inspired by the Holy Spirit. Wow. Then he continues says, yeah. for correction. Mm-hmm. Correction is ep- eponosis. Mm-hmm. This means straightening up. Can you remember the book of Jeremiah where the Bible says that that uh, let us go back to the crossroad? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let us go back to the crossroad. Yes. Now that is straightening you up. Yeah. So the scriptures were written to yeah. straighten us up. Uh, then, then he concludes by saying for yeah. instruction. Yeah. It is the word pedia, which uh, means training. Uh-huh. So when the scriptures are given, yeah. they are given to train you, yeah. to teach you, uh-huh. to equip you, to make to give you the, the right doctrine. Mm-hmm. Now, in all those scriptures, uh-huh. when you study, yeah. you will only get all this mm-hmm. by seeing Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah. Because Christ is uh-huh. the message. Yes. Yeah. As we said, mm-hmm. that from Genesis, mm-hmm. Genesis is a portion, yeah. the Old Testament, yeah. a portion, everything's a portion, yeah. and the climax of Revelation mm-hmm. is the New Testament, yeah. the, from the epistles. Uh-huh. So now when you study the word of God, mm-hmm. it has the ability yeah. to give you all these things. Yeah. Then he concludes by saying uh-huh. that the man of God yeah. might be Thoroughly furnished. Mm. That's wow. the King James. Yeah. The, the new King James. Yeah. Thoroughly furnished. Yeah. So unto salvation. Yeah. So all this mm. they were given to make us wow. equipped yeah. and thoroughly furnished. Yeah. Now you can't be thoroughly furnished yeah. if what you're studying is uh, out of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Christ, Jesus Christ yeah. is the message uh, of the Bible. Yeah. Now when you Take the Bible mm. and open the scriptures. Yeah. As the Bible says, when you behold unto him, yes. you are changed into the same image. Yes. Now, our mission yeah. is not trying to make things happen. Mm. Our mission is yeah. being changed like yeah. him. Wow. Like when you look in the, we have two Christs. Mm. We have the first Christ, yeah. the incarnate, who yeah. came in the flesh yeah. and the risen Lord. Yeah. Now, the incarnate mm. Christ was the image of of who, how we should live. Mm. But again, apart from that, we have been even more exalted yeah. because as he is, yes. so are we. Wow. Now, the incarnate <laughs> used to raise the dead. Mm. The incarnate used mm. to do all these things. Yeah. When you go to the Old Testament, yeah. you will see prophets yeah. trying to say to, to show the shadows yeah. of these right. things. Yes. But now, <clears throat> it becomes a wonder. Mm. Like, Jesus Christ came in the flesh. Yeah. The Bible says he manifested yeah. in the flesh. Uh-huh. And after he came in the flesh, mm-hmm. he began to raise the dead. Yeah. He began to heal the sick. Yeah. And people were like, what's happening? Mm-hmm. We have never seen this before. Yeah. We have seen it with our fathers, the yeah. prophets mm-hmm. in the old. Yeah. But we have never seen it before. Yeah. After some after some years, uh-huh. before the coming of Christ, yeah. God was silent. Mm-hmm. But now Jesus Christ manifested and he began to do all these signs. Wow. John the Baptist yeah. came and uh-huh. began to prepare a way. He mm-hmm. said, prepare ye away mm-hmm. for the master is coming. Mm-hmm. Repent, yeah. repent. And as we all know, repenting, it's not forgive us. Mm-hmm. Repenting is renewing your mind. Yes. Yeah. Now Jesus Christ came mm-hmm. and placed yeah. an example yeah. of how we ought to live. Mm-hmm. Now, you can't live like him Uh if you have not understood him. That's why the Bible must talk about Christ from Genesis, the book of Revelation. Wow. Wow, wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, if, if we were allowed, that deserves a clap. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, leave that thing. <laughs> I know you are clapping in the comment section or in the in the live chat. So, uh, w- w- one of the things that I've taken from you, sir, mm-hmm. you mean that, okay, now, even besides talking about Christ, it is talking about salvation. Mm-hmm. That from the, from your childhood, you have known the Holy Scriptures, yeah. which are, make, are able to make you wise unto salvation. salvation. And also, 
Paul was talking to Timothy and telling him, when you knew the scriptures, they made you wise to salvation. Mm -hmm. And they are also able, I, I'm going to skip that because of maybe, so that I may allow you to yes, also go on the same. Uh, I'm going to skip that portion of, they swear he's giving about inspiration and then talk about that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished. Mm -hmm. That is so heavy. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe the word man of God there is not the archbishop and senior <laughs> prophet <laughs> no, sir. who is supposed no. to be thoroughly furnished. Mm -mm. But the man of God is any man who is in Christ yeah. Jesus yeah. and who have believed in Christ Jesus. And so by that, mm -hmm. you have been perfected they may that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So in God, there is something like perfection. Yes, and the scriptures, when we study them, mm. they are able to give us instructions. Yes. They're able to talk to us. They are able to give us doctrine, reproof, and instruction in righteousness. Yes, and not mm -hmm. instruction to obtain righteousness. Mm -hmm. So that means in Christ, we have obtained righteousness. Yes. So it's being instructed in, in righteousness. righteousness. Wow, wow. So it's not something we are working towards. No. So now, if you've been in Christ and you are working towards righteousness, you are on your own. You need now to come back here and let me guide it on, yes. the, yeah. on how now to walk in the righteousness you have righteous. received yes, inside Christ. Mm. And so there's something like being perfected yes. and we have been perfected because the aim of the scriptures and the wisdom that we derive from the scriptures it is able to make you wise unto salvation uh, sorry not salvation here but it's able to make the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works in sure. all things yeah. so there is something like perfection yes, in all things when we go to the scriptures and see Jesus mm -hmm. in as much as salvation is concerned yes. I've also realized that also they are speaking about salvation in all things. <laughs> yes. My brother said salvation is not only receiving Jesus mm -hmm. or believing in him and mm -hmm. being saved, yes, but it's giving us all these things that we have received in Christ, in Christ. Yeah. thoroughly furnished in all good works. Wow. That is so amazing. That is beautiful. I feel like this show now should not end today. It should go 24 hours. You deserve a clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, I want to take it from my brother, where he has left it from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. Mm -hmm. There is something very important he has said. Yeah. He has said mm -hmm. the scriptures must have been written yeah. to show you Christ. Yeah. Because it is when we see Christ that we are turned into the same image. Now, this is very wonderful. He is saying... Mm -hmm. That the that from your childhood yeah. you have had a knowledge and has been acquaint, acquainted. I'm, I'm using the AMP mm -hmm. with the sacred teachings, which are able to instruct you, give you understanding for salvation, mm -hmm. which comes through faith in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation they take the image of Christ, mm -hmm. they show that image to you, yeah. and then when you look at that image you become from within, yeah. not from outside. Yeah. This, this, all this instruction, mm -hmm. understanding, teaching, all that yeah. was not to enforce it from without. Yeah. It, it was never the will of God for him to enforce all this teaching and instructing from without yeah. so that you can become Christ from without. Yeah. No, it was to form the image of Christ in you wow. so that you can be him yeah. from inside. Yeah. That is very wonderful. Wow. Because... When, when, you, when you take the works yeah. of God, the works that we are seeing that you're being furnished yeah. into good works, yeah. when you start doing those works yeah. without Christ yeah. being formed in you, mm. without the, the image of Christ being formed in you, yeah. that is what Paul comes and calls dead works. Yeah. Yeah. It's even Christ. Yeah. Jesus calls them dead works. Yeah. Because there are works mm -hmm. which are proceeding from you yeah. without the revelation of Christ. Yeah. So any works... Mm -hmm. Any works yeah. that any person does yeah. without the revelation of Christ <laughs> are dead works. Yeah. But those works that Christ is working in you yeah. because his image has been formed within you. Yeah. That, is what, that is what through faith, you know, uh, this, 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 this Bible says uh, the, to give you understanding for salvation which comes through faith in Christ. Yeah. Any work that you do through faith in Christ, yeah. it is actually not you who is doing it. Yeah. It is Christ that is doing that work mm -hmm. in you. Wow. Now, and that was my brother's point. Yeah. Now, on my point, uh -huh. okay, allow me. <laughs> <laughs> <That is good. laughs> on my point, uh -huh. uh, on my point. Now, we, we've say, we, we've seen that it is Jesus who is being shown in the scriptures from all through. And I want, and I, and I want to give the first. Okay, I think the second example you gave us one from Matthew. Mm -hmm. I want to give the second example yeah. from the book of Numbers chapter yeah. twenty. Now, Numbers chapter twenty, mm -hmm. uh, from verse seven. 
The Bible says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take the rod and your brother Aaron mm-hmm. and gather the congregation yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Speak to the rock yeah. before their eyes, mm-hmm. and it will yield its water. Yeah. Thus you shall bring water for them out of the mm-hmm. rock mm-hmm. and give drink to the congregation mm-hmm. and to the animals. Yeah. Now, this is to, to make the long story short, yeah. this is the time mm-hmm. when the Israelites complained that they were thirsty. Yeah. The first time they did that, yeah. God told Moses, mm-hmm. hit the rock. Mm-hmm. You will see it is in the same book of Numbers. Yeah. Hit the rock. Yeah. And Moses hit the rock. Mm-hmm. And the rock produced water. Yeah. Now, these children of Israel, yeah. after drinking of that water, yeah. they, they complain again mm-hmm. of their thirst. Yeah. And then God gives Moses an instruction. Yeah. He tells him, take the, ro- take the rod yeah. and your brother Aaron. Yeah. When you come out to the congregation after gathering mm-hmm. them, now don't hit the rock. Yeah. Speak to that rock. Wow. And the Bible says, and, the, and it will give you water. Yeah. But Moses was angry. Yeah. And in verse, in verse 10, we see what Moses did. Yeah. And Moses and Aaron gathered <laughs> the assembly together before the rock. And he said to them, yeah. here now, you rebels, <laughs> must we bring water for you out of this rock? Yeah. Then Moses lifted his hand yeah. and struck the rock twice with his rod. Uh-huh. And water came out abundantly. Yeah. And the congregation and the animals drank. Yeah. But the Lord was angry. Uh-huh. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron. Mm-hmm. Because you did not believe me yeah. to hallow me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Yeah. Therefore you shall not therefore you shall not bring this assembly mm-hmm. into the land which I have given you. Uh-huh. So from the outward, yeah. without revelation, uh-huh. a man reading this story can think I'm giving of the story of Moses yeah. and Aaron. Yeah. But then we go to First Corinthians mm-hmm. chapter ten. Yeah. We see who or what is being spoken about here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, mm-hmm. verse 1, mm-hmm. it says, mm-hmm. Paul now tells the Corinthians, yeah. I do not want to be ignorant, yeah. brethren. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. that I, I want to tell you that our fathers mm-hmm. were all were all under protected by the cloud mm-hmm. in which God's presence went before them, yeah. and in every one of them passed safely yeah. through the Red Sea. Yeah. And each one of them allowed himself also <laughs> to be baptized into Moses mm-hmm. in the cloud and in the sea. Yeah. They were thus brought uh, under obligation to the law, yeah. to Moses, mm-hmm. and to the covenant, mm-hmm. the old covenant, yeah. consecrated mm-hmm. and set apart of the service of God. Yeah. Now he explains. Yeah. And says, and all of them, yeah ate the same spiritual, yeah. supernaturally given food. Yeah. And he says, and they drank the same spiritual, supernaturally given water. Uh-huh. For they drank from a spiritual rock mm. which followed them, yeah. produced by the sole power of God himself without natural mm-hmm. instrumentality. Wow. Yeah. The, and that rock was Christ. Oh, wow. oh my God. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it is a story of a rock. Yeah. When you read the story, it uh-huh. looks like it's a rock. Yeah. But it takes Paul mm-hmm. using revelation. Yeah. You see, the only revelation that is found in the Bible is the revelation of Christ. Yeah. So to us mm-hmm. and to the children of Israel, yeah. they were drinking from a rock. Yeah. But the Bible tells us mm-hmm. this rock yeah. was not just a rock. Yeah. This rock was Christ. Yeah. And look at this. Uh-huh. Christ was not to be hit twice. Mm-hmm. Christ was to be killed once. Yeah. And then after that, uh-huh. you speak. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting it? <laughs> I know they are getting it. Yeah. I know they are getting it. Yeah. The revelation of Christ was <laughs> the first time yeah. Christ was to be hit. Yeah. After Christ was to be killed, yeah. he was not to be killed again. Yeah. Yeah. But what did Moses do? <laughs> he killed Christ two times. Yeah. He hit Christ the, the first time yeah. because Christ was that rock. Yeah. And after God telling him, giving him a specific instruction, <laughs> speak to the rock. Yeah. Instead of Moses speaking to the rock, yeah. instead of man speaking to Christ, yeah. you want to proceed. By Christ the second time, yeah. that rock yeah. was not just a rock, yeah. that rock was Christ. Yeah. This is the only revelation in the Bible. Wow. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. <laughs> that is so beautiful. You know, <laughs> uh, maybe some of us have never heard of that story <laughs> of the rock. Yeah. <laughs> the rock that Moses killed. The yes. first time he was told to hit it. Yes. The second time, right? Yes. And the second time he was told to speak to oh, it. Oh, the second time he was told to speak to it. Yes. And when he spoke to it, yes. he did not when he was addressed or instructed by God to speak to, speak to it, yes. he did not speak to it. Yes. He hit it. He hit it. Yes. And then after hitting it, 
there is something of the promise of entering rest yes yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> now yes uh, in the, we, we agreeing with what you are saying yes, uh, when it comes to to the when now paul is dividing it according to what you had said in yes. the book of hebrews yes. chapter 4 he says that the message that was preached to them yes was yeah. as well preached to us mm-hmm. and then the message not received with faith i mean yeah. you have said this somewhere before yeah, this yeah, week yeah, yeah. or maybe the previous week that not being mixed with faith yes the promise of entering into rest came short yes or moses did not did not enter into rest so yes, from what you have said yes. the reason why moses did not enter into rest yes it was not because god was so mad at moses <laughs> but because Moses missed the instruction of Christ yes. at that time yes. of entering into rest yeah. and awesome. it not being received with faith yes. they did not come to it verse 2 of Hebrews 4 he says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached to them did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that had it then wow. he says for we which have believed do enter into rest as he said as i have sworn in my wrath if they shall enter into rest although the works were finished from the foundations of the world that means wow. uh, from from what you have said yes, it's that the rock that Moses was told to speak to yes. he was speaking about Jesus who should come yes. and this is the whole sum of the prophecy that Moses or Moses was prophesying about Christ that Jesus will come he will be crushed the first time yes. he will be crushed once yes. and for all he for will all. not die he will not die again yes. for consistently yes. but he died once and for all and yes. after the death of Jesus yes. we don't crush him again no. or yeah. we don't work for what he finished working for exactly. but we believe and speak he yes. says this is the spirit of faith mm. we have had right. and we have believed yes. therefore we speak yeah. so now we we flow in speaking yes <laughs> he's a good master wow. Wow. A <laughs> and we thank god for jesus and you know uh, before before you go far ah. he says <laughs> the uh, the one did not the same we've we've seen that they were preached the same gospel yeah. that we have been preached yeah. today Yeah. The Bible says mm-hmm. not being mixed with faith yeah. in them that had it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. In them. The faith yeah. was not come from outside. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> the faith was come was to was to be in them. Yeah. And who is faith? Faith is Christ. Wow. Faith is Christ by virtue of yes. the word. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You see people trying to comment here and there and by the goodness of God it is a blessing. Now, uh we we are we are planning to wrap up. <laughs> you know sometimes time so much of a takes us and it's like time is flying yes, more than our words but Anyway, we thank God because of that and I believe we are up to something yes, and now as we are planning to wrap up sir mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you have to say about that uh how that reminds me in the book of Genesis 6 yeah, yeah. you know the bible says that people multiplied yeah. but and sin yeah. increased much more wow. and God was at broken yeah. that he wished I wish I had not created man. Mm. He said I will destroy both man yeah. and all animals yeah, and everything that he had created. Yes. But before that chapter ends, yeah. the Bible says but Noah yeah. found oh, grace wow. before God. <laughs> wow. What happened? <laughs> Noah preached Christ yeah. in the book of Genesis. Wow. And he said, let us enter into that ark. Yeah. Whosoever believes shall not perish remember that yeah. so he preached to them jesus christ was the ark wow. and wow. told them it is only entering into this ark yeah. that you shall be saved wow. but there are those who never believed yeah. in fact it's surprising uh-huh. that it's the gospel is not only preached to humans yeah. but even to serpents wow. yeah. the same same serpent that deceived eve yeah. entered into the ark uh-huh. it believed <laughs> <laughs> it believed the gospel of Christ yeah. and entered uh-huh. into the ark wow. so the gospel of Christ yeah. is the only thing that can save a man wow. if no preached the gospel if yeah. no preached Christ from the old testament yes. then this is to say yeah. the bible yeah. is about Christ wow. yeah wow. it is it is centered on Christ yeah, so yeah. you mean that that ark was showing Christ yeah okay wow <laughs> so I think it's danger. Okay. <laughs> okay, so are we finishing? Yes. Now as as we, as we come to a completion of it, uh 
the, 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 there is one thing that is so consistent with us. And I, I, I love, I, I allow us, allow us, allow us not to end it here. <laughs> we will pick it up from where we have left it. Yeah. Next time, we are going to continue with it. Yes, and I believe you have been blessed and we all have been blessed. And so uh, maybe one concluding hit okay. to our hearers. For me, yeah. I tell everyone, mm-hmm. whosoever does not preach Christ to you, yeah. does not love you. Uh-huh. Whoever gives you a revelation mm-hmm. outside Christ, yeah. that person hates you. Wow. Because Christ is the message from God. Yeah. From God. Yeah. This is a message that we have been given by God. Yeah. And that is what God wants known into this world. Uh-huh. So preach Christ yeah. and allow men to preach to you Christ. Yeah. Because Christ is the greatest revelation mm-hmm. in the Bible. Uh-huh. And Christ is the greatest revelation yeah. we will ever receive from God. Amen. Yes, sir. That is so amazing. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. It's a blessing. <laughs> Don't feel like I can stop listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I think me, I love concluding with the love of God. Yeah. I just love how God loves me. Yeah. I would tell my viewer, mm-hmm. Manze, <laughs> you are the heartbeat of God. Wow. Manze, God loves you, God loves you, God loves you. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that is so good. That is super good. And same to me, I cannot go off context. God loves you so much and he did everything he could ever do to express his love for you. Remember, everything that has been spoken in all the scriptures, in every place in the Bible, they are all addressing. There's a verse you quoted in Romans uh, chapter 1, right? And mm-hmm. you said that a minister of the gospel of Christ. The gospel means the good news of Christ, which has been testified by the prophets. So what did they testify? They testified of the good news. And today we bring you good news. And even as a minister of the gospel, you stand and you are placed in here. It is the place of teaching the good news of Christ. You have been assured this is our boldness. Our confidence is found in the gospel of Christ. This is love made perfect. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us Amen. and gave himself for us when we were still sinners. And God loves you so much and he's inviting you into that rest. And yes. all of us who have been called into that rest. And now we are concluding it at that. And today you heard me, Bonnie Glorious. You heard my brother, Freddie Blessing, on my right hand. We have begun on my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> and we heard my wonderful and the only brown brother in our show. Yeah, the man that is a lie. <laughs> I know they are seeing themselves. So uh, we love you so much. You are blessed of Christ. That was the Beholders Church. And until next Friday, we love you so much and we are anticipating, looking forward to that. You are blessed, right? Amen. We are blessed, right? Yeah, Can we blessed. say it together? You, you are, are blessed. blessed. Amen. 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 Amen.